White and I'm a County Extension Agent with Texas AgriLife Extension Service and I'm here today to demonstrate a new recipe for your family's dinner tonight. The name of this recipe is Lemony Chicken Pasta and I think it's one you'll really enjoy especially with this upcoming summer temperatures. It's light and it's tangy. We're going to start with two cups of pasta. This is whole grain pasta that's already been cooked according to the box directions. So I'm going to start with putting the pasta in the bowl. Next I'm going to add about three cups of cooked chicken. Now this was about three chicken breasts that I cooked uh, from a frozen packet or you could use a rotisserie chicken or leftover chicken you had uh, from the grill last night but it's three cups of chicken. The next ingredients we're going to add, add a lot of fiber to our diets, which as Americans, that's something that we always need to work on getting more. This is a cup of celery. And we have, I don't know if you can see how colorful these bell peppers are, but I chose the package that had the red, the yellow, and the orange peppers, adding lots of vitamin C and vitamin A to our diet. Next is I don't know if you've cooked with this, but this is edamame. This is pretty new. I've been cooking with it for about six months now. It's a soybean, actually, that's cooked according to the package directions. Adds isoflavones to our diet, as well as some essential amino acids. Very healthy. Adds extra protein to our diets, plus that uh, pretty green color that you see. Three diced green onions. This is so quick and easy to make. And then we have about a three-fourths of a cup of cranberries that add antioxidants as well as vitamins A and C. And then finally, for a little crunch in this salad, we're going to add about a half to three-fourths of a cup of chopped walnuts. Walnuts are so good for us and they're easy to add in salads like this to give it that extra crunch. As you can see, this makes a pretty big bowl of uh, pasta salad. It's about eight servings and it costs about $2 a serving. Now the next thing I'm going to add gives this summer salad a little punch. So don't be afraid to experiment with flavors. The sour that's going in it is the juice from uh, a couple of lemons, which is about three tablespoons of lemon juice. We're just going to mix that lemon juice in the salad. And finally, we're going to end with a little sweet. And the sweet is about a cup. And you might could use a little bit less. The original recipe called for a cup and a half, but I thought that was too much for what this salad needed. I didn't want to mask the flavor. But when you go to the grocery store and look for poppy seed dressing, you'll find out you have three choices. You can buy either the regular dressing or the light or the fat free. Now for this particular recipe, I chose the light dressing. It had half of the calories of the regular. So we had some savings there. And you never want to cover up a healthy salad like this with something that's full of fat. So we've kept it healthy. And this has the good mixture of the sweet and the sour. And you can see just how colorful it is, as well as healthy for your family. Now I'm just going to portion up a little bit here on the plate to show you what you could serve it with for your family. I always put a, like to serve an extra little bunch of grapes. And like I say, this makes about eight servings. So there you have it. A main dish salad that would be good for any of those summer socials that you go to. One little uh, tip I might give you, if you take this to a family reunion or to a covered dish supper, be sure that you refrigerate it before and after. And also, if it's going to be out in the hot temperature like at a family reunion, don't leave it out for more than two hours because we sure don't want to make anyone sick from any of our summer salads. So I hope this has given you some ideas. The next time you're wondering what's for dinner tonight, I hope you'll check with the resources at Texas AgriLife Extension Service. And don't forget to check out our Facebook page for more tips or even suggestions for upcoming recipes. Thank you.